second one determine the southern couple. So we need the vector which is MRC. Then you need this magnitude which is MRC. <coughs> then you need the angles. Alpha, beta, and gamma. Basically, what you have is you have two forces. One is here, one is here. That's going to form as a couple M C one. <coughs> then you have another force, which is here and here. That's going to form another couple. Let's call this as M. MC2, you add the two together and that should give you the resultant couple vector MRC. So once you have the resultant couple vector, then you should be able to find its magnitude and you should be able to find the angles the vector actually makes with XYZ axis. So <coughs> Let's <coughs> take this force as F1 and the force here, let's take this as F2. Then you have this force, we take this as F3 and we take this force as F4. So F1 and F2, they have the same magnitude, they parallel to each other in the opposite direction. So that's going to be, let's say, first couple. So let's look at the forces. So force vector F1. Should be the magnitude. It's in the Z direction. So you multiply this by K. Except it's in the opposite of Z. So you place a negative sign. Then you look at the force F2, <coughs> what you have is you have the force, magnitude is 60, it's in the z direction, it's positive, you use that as <coughs> positive 60. Then we look at, uh, let's say, force F3, and that's also in the vector form, so you have 80 pounds, it's in the y direction, so multiply it by j in the opposite of y, we place a negative sign. Then we take the fourth one, which is f4, and <coughs> okay, the magnitude is 80, it's in the positive y, so that becomes 80 j. So these are the four forces, and the set, this forms uh, one couple, that was couple two, and these two, they form, let's say, couple one. So the next thing would be to actually find the couple vectors. So to do this, <coughs> I could just choose this point. And I call this point as A. And then <coughs> we choose another point. Let's say the point is here and we join these two. So if you want to find the moment of a couple, what you need is a point that's known on the first force, then you need another one which is known on the second force. And I'm going to call this point as B. And the vector which goes from A to B. So that's <coughs> one vector and I can write the <coughs> MC1, couple MC1, that should be R A B multiplied by the force at the tip and that's going to be F2. <coughs> okay, can I repeat that anytime you want to find um, moment of a couple then you need you pick two points pick one point on the first force, 
and they pick the second point and the second force and both of those points should be known and the force you're going to use in your product will be the force that's at the tip of the vector you've chosen. So <coughs> as I said that's your MC1 and we need to do the same thing for the second couple which we look for MC2. So again let's say I choose this point here because that's going to be a known point. Let's call this point as C and we're going to choose another point that's here and we choose this as the vector. And we choose this point as D. The vector is going to go from C to D or it becomes R C D. <coughs> so <coughs> the second couple is going to be position vector R C D and the force at the tip which is F4. So 